Chapter 9 From the Heart of Cheryl Elizabeth Have you wondered why so many are living on the streets? Have you truly pondered poverty and the like? Have you found the courage to see the suffering, to see beyond into a world that is destructive in every way to find within oneself? These are powerful questions, for it is so true that judgment can be extremely harsh, and yet, just like the soul that would give their life to save an animal, there are people that would do anything to help the ones living on the street. It takes the greatest amounts of compassion. It takes turning, not the other way, but to the way. Most people turn away, and it is understandable. If you are not of that world, why would you be around that world? I want people to see people. My book was to bring forth compassion and kindness. It was to bring forth love for oneself and for others. This book is being written through the gifts of mediumship, my little sister typing eagerly, wanting me to have something really powerful to share, wanting to grant me my wish of writing my first and probably my only book. The gift of mediumship is just like that, a gift of mediumship, for how could I write from the grand heavens as she sits at the end of her kitchen table to assist me with my creation. The gift is my sister, and I am her gift. I would like each person to know that they are a gift, that everyone is here for grand reason and great purpose. I want to call forth great purpose. What is great purpose? And the answer, deep love. Deep love for someone deep love and compassion for all, compassionate compassion. Isn't that grand? And I will be the first to say how much I missed out on compassionate compassion. For I wanted it for myself, and I wanted to give it to others. But the funny thing is, I gave compassion to the ones that were having a more difficult time in life than I was. With every bad day that I had, I would come across someone who made me look like I lived as a queen. I never wanted to hurt anyone, but I did. And I guess humans do that. They hurt others. Sometimes intentionally, sometimes not at all intentional. And then you have the ones that take pleasure in the hurt take pleasure to hurt another because they themselves are not understanding of great compassionate compassion. The ones who make the street drugs knowing of the damage to another, who are they truly? Are they only filling the need for a service or are they suffering so deeply that they can't stand to see another not in pain? When you see someone else's pain beyond what you know in your own experience without the feeling of compassion, truly there isn't an emotion at all. Only compassion would make another pay attention to one's actions of cruelty. Just like the one cruel to an animal and another healing the same animal, life on the street is just like that because most look at the ones living on the streets as animals. And so often they are treated just like that. An animal being abused, held in a cage, with a locked door, with no food, no water, nothing to let them know that anyone cares. That is how the drug addict on the street feels. When there is cruelty, When the harsh conditions are applied by another without compassion, something happens. There is a bigger picture towards the suffering. Most people are good. Most people are kind. 
Most people would open the cage door to help the helpless animal. But most people do turn away from the helplessness on the streets. Why is that? Why is that? Human killing humans and so many ways to do it. When I was walking about the depths of the street hell in which I found myself, as mentioned, I felt like it was home and I felt as though no one was human. Was I even human? I left my beautiful family to be part of another family. A family that really felt like family, like I was home. After a long day, when one returns back to the safety of their home, they open the door to all their possessions. They open the door to perhaps someone lovingly greeting them. They open the door and perhaps it is their beloved pet that comes to say hello. The point I am making is they open a door. The door on the streets is the streets. There are no rooms. Everything is wide open. There are no walls. There is no roof. There is no lock on the door, for there is no door. Think about what I am saying. I am asking that the next time you see the wanderers, the ones staring back to the ones sheltered in cars that drive by, look where the door is. This is powerful. This is the way I wish to bring the awareness of compassion. Where is the door and safety on the streets? Where is the loving family to greet one each day? And here is the irony. No one leaves to return. No one leaves and locks the door to return to a loved one. No one can leave the world of street drugs unless someone will be home. My family, my real family, my sisters, my daughter, my brother, my dad, my mom, my aunt, my grandchild, all waiting for me to return home, and I didn't. Not for a while. I was so scared that I wouldn't be welcomed after what I had done. My parents couldn't have been proud of what I sold for the drugs. They gave me a beautiful, healthy body, and I sold it. How can you walk through the door when you are used to not having a door to walk through? My daughter, everyone truly was there to greet me, was there to love me, was there. But at the time, the only home that I knew was the home of hell. How could I bring home to the ones that I loved my hell? How could I? Was it because of my compassion and endless deep love for them? Or was it because I didn't have endless deep love for myself? My family were there all the while. My dad, he must have suffered. My mom, she must have suffered. My daughter suffered as she tried to live life without me coming home. My sister is feeling deep pain in her heart as she receives and writes the words. For you see, we have always been connected. Her heart deeply connected with mine, a bond that will never be broken, but a bond that I abandoned along with everyone else that I loved. How do you live with the knowing of the suffering that was caused to the ones you love? And the answer was always more hatred towards everything which only led to more drugs, to more destruction, to more of wanting life to end. Well, my life did end, and before it did, my family created the door to open and lovingly left it open. So I didn't have to knock. Each of my family gave me a key to their own hearts, to their own doorway, and with the grace of God, I walked through.